seen actually work down mines. Last night, the 12 youngsters forming a guard of honour as Kevin Keegan took the pitch at Anfield Plain were symbols of the 168 men and boys who lost their lives in the Durham Coalfield's worst ever disaster in 1909. Keegan had promised earlier in the year to bring a side to play the locals to help raise cash for a memorial. It was a cause particularly close to his heart. My grandfather was one of the 36 survivors. Uh, best part of 166 people lost their lives, most of them just young boys, 13, 14, and whole families were wiped out. And I think it's right and proper there's some memorial to him. It was, at the time, the biggest man in tragedy. And he actually, some good did come out of it because they uh, decided that they have to have the tally. They only knew how many people were down the mines by the number of hats that were missing. So, you know, they say some good come out of it. It saved a lot of lives in the future and it made them even stricter with safety. Well, his grandfather was in the Tilly Seam. He was one of the, the trap miners, one of the 26 that was trapped in the Tilly Seam. And him, with the help of a Mark Henderson, they brought the other people out. Mark Henderson went out and... Uh, found the way to the shaft and it was 14 hours they were in there and they brought the other ones out in groups of five this Mark Henderson and Kevin's grandfather apparently that they had brought them out the team may have been full of juniors and staff but that didn't bother the 3,000 crowd and Newcastle didn't disappoint duly opening the scoring before half time the fun too should reach its goal as a result of the match 6,000 pounds were raised and Anfield Plain should soon be able to properly remember those who died in the Burns Colliery disaster. Well, just a reminder. Manager Kevin